Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're unboxing the new ROG Xbox Ally in white. Let's just get into it. Right off the bat, it feels super premium. I love the white aesthetic. It's just stunning and beautiful to look at. It comes with two USB ports, they're USB-C, which lets you play in desktop mode by connecting an external monitor as well as power the device at the same time. The controls feel really nice. It comes with a micro SD card slot that supports up to two terabytes of storage. The Joy-Cons feel really nice, especially with the RGB lights once you turn it on. The 120Hz 7-inch screen is really nice, especially because it comes with variable refresh rate, so all the images look very smooth. Now this one does come in 512 gigabytes, which was definitely not gonna cut it for me. I plan on upgrading to this four terabyte M.2 drive that I had laying around. Yes, I had an M.2 drive, four terabytes laying around for the last two years. I had lost it at some point when I moved to Dallas, but thankfully I found it a couple weeks before purchasing this device. I'll leave the link to ROG's full guide on doing this upgrade down in the description box below, but I'm also showing you here on screen how easy it is to do. I did have the supervision of my fiance who is a technician, so he has experience a lot of opening consoles and repairing them. I had a little bit of trouble trying to pry it open just because I didn't want to slide into any cables. Thank you. 
Now, ROG's guide does not call for removing the battery, but I had trouble pulling out the M.2 drive, so I went ahead and just removed those extra screws and removed the battery. I suggest that while you're already looking to increase the storage on your drive, also look for a faster drive because the one that comes pre-installed is not as fast. And since it's an NVMe drive, you can increase the storage and also increase the speed. You also don't need to worry about it being difficult to reinstall the operating system because ASUS makes it super easy with the cloud recovery feature that they have installed on these consoles. So with just a few clicks and a quick download, I was able to reinstall the operating system with no issues at all. I also picked up the official ROG Xbox Ally case. I found this at Best Buy. It was actually the last one. And I was pleasantly surprised by it. It was a little bit pricey, but I like the texture outside, which is waterproof. Zippers are also waterproof. This pouch is also removable and this is where you can store the power bank so I just find that that's super convenient. Most cases that I found did not include an option to like put the power bank but also be able to remove it whenever you didn't need it. This makes it super convenient especially for me because I'm traveling all the time so sometimes I want to carry the power bank with me and other times I'm constrained for space so I want to be able to put this somewhere else like in my check-in luggage and then just be able to carry the console with me.
The zippers are waterproof, like I said, so that's really nice. Once you're inside, it's a really soft material, but on top of that, it also includes a kickstand, which is super nice, especially for those times when you don't want to hold the device and you just want to play hands-free, like with another controller, maybe. And of course, the first game that I wanted to test was Hogwarts Legacy. This is the more affordable console, so it comes with an AMD C2A APU. So it's not as fast as the extreme one, but I was still pleasantly surprised how well it run the, uh, the game, especially in comparison to my older console, which is the Steam Deck. Like I told you guys before, this is the Steam Deck that I own is the one that was first released. So it's the first generation of the Steam Deck. And I did see that Steam Deck was actually has a newer version for OLED. And it's even faster than this one, like 10 frames faster when it comes to visuals as well. So that was one thing that I definitely did consider. But because this is a PC based console, I had a bigger library of games to choose from. And on top of that, the NVMe option to upgrade the drive, it just made more sense for me. Now you can do it on your Steam Deck. And it requires a little bit of more extra work. My fiance actually did it to his. So that's an option that I could have gone with. But it was like the the drive was going to be sticking outside of the console. And I just didn't want that. I just like the idea of keeping it original. Let me know in the comments below what games should I install first on this massive 4 terabyte drive. I love hearing your suggestions. And I thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up, commenting, liking, subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps me out a lot. And thank you so much again. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!